Okay guys, let's do some reading. We're going to start with our phonics like we always do. And today we're working with three digraphs, E-W, O-O, and U-E. And digraphs are two letters that come together to make one sound. Your mouth only moves one time, not like the diphthong from yesterday. Digraph O-O is a special digraph because it can make two sounds. Listen carefully to the vowel sound in each of these words. Took, wool, football, stood. Uh, 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 uh. In this column, we have noodles, loose, toothbrush, smooth. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have oo uh, and we have oo. When you see the word in a sentence, usually the context of the sentence will help you to know if you need to make the sound oo uh, as in book or oo uh, as in tooth. Now in the next section, we have a sentence. We watched the new airplane zoom across the blue sky. In this sentence, we use all three of the digraphs and all three of the digraphs say oo. At the bottom, we have some words. We're going to listen for the vowel sound of the words. And then we're going to use some of the these words in the sentences at the bottom of the page. So this word has digraph O. -O. Is it scoops or scoops? I think it's scoops, like I'd like a couple of scoops of ice cream. Again, mm -hmm. digraph O-O, U -O, or U, Ch I can't even say it in the incorrect way. This word is choose with U. Again, tools, E-W always says U, so these are all U words, drew, new, jewel. And U-E, digraph U-E, also always says oo. Clue, glue, rescue. So we're going to use some of these choices with these digraphs in these sentences. Choose, clue, drew, glue, new, scoops. I will blank two flavors for my blank of ice cream. Well, we're going to do something with some ice cream. So I think we're going to choose two flavors for my scoops. Miss Millette had already given that one away up here, hadn't she? Of ice cream. Rosa blank the answer to the puzzle. Rosa had knowledge. She knew the answer to the puzzle when you do a crossword puzzle you have clues ben plans to blank the pictures he blank to his book report cover well i think he's going to put some pictures on his book report cover so he's going to glue the pictures he drew to his book report cover. So, digraphs E-W-O-O-U-E say oo, and sometimes digraph O-O swaps it up and says uh. But you're working with oos today, so you know one of your workbook pages will be with these three digraphs. Your vocabulary words for today are languages and publish. Mom studied the languages of Spanish and English, and the book company will publish my poem in a book. When we talk about languages, you guys speak a little bit of Spanish when you go to Miss Warnock's class every week. Your targets today are I can read the stanzas of a song, I can identify how the main character shows that she loves God, and I can identify how the main character shows God's love to others. I was reading back over the first part of this story today before I started this video, and you know, 
Frances really, really, really liked where she lived. And she knew when she looked at Dad's face that he had some news that might be upsetting to her. But she loved where they lived. She loved ice skating. Um, but her dad felt that they were being called by God to go serve a church in Worcester because cities needed preachers too. So they move, and Frances did not adjust well. She knew that her papa liked his new church. She did all the things that she was supposed to do, but she just was not happy. Papa referred to her as a caged bird. A caged bird is a bird that lives in a cage and isn't free to fly around and do the things that he or she would enjoy doing. So they stay in Worcester, and then her mom becomes sick, and her mom tells her that she, Frances, needs to remember that nothing but the precious blood of Jesus Christ can make you clean in his sight. So after her mom died, she was sent to a boarding school where her teachers also taught her about the Bible just like her father had and her mother had. And she kept remembering what her mother said to her, that nothing but the precious blood of Jesus can make you clean. And then one day, a lady at the boarding school said, you know God's promises, Francis. You know Jesus loves you. You know he died and rose for you. Couldn't you trust him? And after Francis heard those words and she thought about what her mom said, she said, yes, I can trust you and I will and I give my life to you. So she confessed that Jesus was her Lord and Savior. When she was a child, she at first lived in the country where she could skate and she could walk in the woods and listen to the birds sing. And then she was moved to the city. Why did her family move to the city? Because her father was a preacher and he felt that God wanted him to work at a church in the city. Who helped Francis become a Christian? Well, just like in my life and in yours, there are many people that impact us in our beliefs. And some of the people that impacted Francis were her parents, the lady at her boarding school. And what do you think Francis did after she became a Christian? Well, what do you think? What did you do or what do you do to show that you're a Christian? That's a think about it. That's not in the story. You put yourself in Francis' place and you think about what it's like to be a Christian and what you should do when you're a Christian. And I'll bet that as you read part two, you're going to learn more about what Francis did after she became a Christian. I hope that you've had a great day. I hope that the work is not too difficult and I don't believe that it is. I hope that you try to do a little work every day, but I also hope that you take breaks and have fun and enjoy this wonderful weather that we've been having the last few days. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Maybe we'll figure out a time where we can all talk together on the computer and just catch up. Have a great weekend. Do your best work, and I'll talk to you next time.